Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. So have you and Ruga ever uh, chopped it up? Because I know y'all had uh, words. Like, you know, he said some shit about you. I don't know if he was out or locked up at the time, but I know you sent, sent the message back type shit. Like, have y'all ever chopped it up since then? Yeah, I just talked to Ruga the other day, man. He just called me the other day. Because motherfucker did that shit on Clubhouse. And they brought it up, you feel me? So he called me, like, you know, because he did the uh, No Jumper interview. And he cleaned it up or whatever, you know. Folks like, now why it's still going on? But I'm like, bro, in the same way you, you said what you said, I got the right to say what I want to say, period. Nigga ain't gonna stop me from saying what I said. Because at the end of the day, you didn't say step it up for us. You said, when they asked, you said, yellow is trash. You said that. So, don't try to switch nothing, like, folks. I ain't no bitch, nothing. Folks, don't play with me, folks. I'm guaranteed, folks. Because if I was out of something, folks, and you play with me like that, folks, nigga, look, you feel me? But, it's all love though, folks. It ain't nothing, folks, but it's like, niggas just gotta watch what they say too, though, folks, on game, folks. I don't care about no clout or nothing, folks, or what the nigga got going on, folks. Ain't no big eyes, little use, folks. On game, I don't go for how much clout you got, folks. I don't care who you are, folks. I don't give a fuck who I am. I mean, I'd have been around Floyd Mayweather, everybody, folks. I'd have been around niggas, folks. I don't give a fuck about none of that, folks. I ain't gonna dick suck no nigga or nothing, folks. I'm a gangster, folks, on game, folks, so. At the end of the day, niggas just gotta watch what they saying out their mouth, folks. Period, folks. Like, you feel me? But it's all love with Ruger, man. You know, I ain't tripping, man. So I salute him and everything. He doing his one too, man. You know, as he should. You know, but that's just that's just slight, bro. That shit ain't that shit ain't nothing to me, folks. Yeah. So what's your feelings on people like DJ Academics and you know the way if he had fuck Academics. Like he covered, he covered you a few times, right? Too or your hood or shit like that. Yeah, but like a lot of these niggas, for they clouded off us, folks, and they only support the negativity, bro. They don't support your career. They talk about all the bullshit, the nonsense, folks. They don't fuck with you for you, folks. They don't all this shit for all these niggas weird. Like even when I came home for like now, for all these niggas, for like even say cheese, all them for these motherfucking niggas. Done, for all the blogs used to post the nigga and everything, for these niggas ain't doing none of that shit now, folks. You feel me? Like, a motherfucker, like, but you could post some bullshit. For, I could smack a nigga and do some crazy shit. They want, that's what they want me to do. They want me to do some crazy shit, folks, and y'all gonna run with it, folks. You feel me? Except, so, niggas, support the nigga music in his career, folks. You feel me? And we started you niggas' careers. Academics say cheese, all these niggas, folks. We the reason you niggas got platforms, bro. On game, bro. Because if it wasn't for us, the nigga won't have nothing to talk about. Nigga won't have nothing to post. You feel me? On game. And like academics, bro, I just, he's just a weirdo, bro. You famous off the war shot, right? And now you got the whole shit. You got real shit going on. You don't see nobody from Chicago on that nigga platform. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't bringing a nigga in, man. Yeah, how your album doing it, Wooty Woo? You not, niggas not doing that, bro. Oh gang, bro, you gotta do something crazy for these weird ass niggas to post it, fuck. Nigga ain't supporting the nigga music and none of that shit, bro. Oh gang, bro. And I don't respect that part, nigga. Be on both sides, nigga. If I'ma post something crazy, nigga, post my good too, nigga. Don't just post my bad, bro. But academics, he always been a, he's a fucking wherever you from, Minnesota, he's a weirdo, bro. He's a he's the real clout chaser for sure. But so, he, he got the bag off us, though, you feel me? He sat back and capitalized off us, bro. A so, lot of motherfuckers doing that, though. A lot of motherfuckers capitalizing off Chicago. One thing I noticed you said as far as, like, you know, them uh, posting, like, the negative shit and this and that, do you feel like that's what they want to post or that's just what works? Because, like, it's situations where I just posted Montana 300 having, like, the number one album independently. It got, like, a couple hundred likes, a couple views. Then I posted... Chicago police getting shot at on Instagram and he got like 200,000 views. Yeah, that's what they so want to see. Like, the world, listen. Sometimes it ain't what people want, it's what works. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the world is so brain dead, that's what they want to see though. They want to see the bullshit. That's why a nigga drop a regular song, he drop a, a game bang, shoot him up, bang bang, kill a nigga. That's what they want to hear. Yeah. Because people are so fucked up. They want to, nigga preach the positivity, they want to see that, that's what they say. But that ain't what they, you feel me? That ain't what they really want, bro. So who do you blame? Do you blame the audience or do you blame the platform? Because the platform is doing what the audience want. 
Yeah, like the sure. audience, like you, if you, the positivity work, niggas wouldn't be posting that shit. Niggas yeah. wouldn't post all. But I'm saying it's still, I mean, at the end of the day, no matter what it's doing, you just you need a balance for sure. Still post it to show support. Yeah. No matter what. Like even with my interviews, it's a balance. Like I'm a, I'm a, of course I'm a put some shit out there that's gonna catch your attention, make you come in. Yeah. But overall, the interview not gonna be all the bullshit. It's gonna really be to get to know you. Yeah. Like your life. I'm yeah. gonna ask you your upbringing. I'm gonna ask you this, that, like. You know, mm-hmm. but some platforms I notice they do only just ask that. But at the same time, I get it, mm-hmm. cause if you doing an interview and the purpose is to get the most views, you ask the shit they get the most views. Yeah, for but sure. But then you gotta have like a moral compass too, knowing like what come behind the shit you doing and saying. Like, mm-hmm. cause some people crossing the line with this shit. Some people talking about shit they shouldn't talk about, and yeah. they they know they know the outcome. But I guess the views and the money is worth more to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what they're doing it for. At the end of the day, motherfuckers doing it to make some money. Everybody's doing it. What is what nigga rapping for? What's you doing your interviews for? So, sure. nigga, you want to eat? Nigga, you want to support your your city? You want to be able to take care of you, your family, whatever? You feel me? That's what it's about. So, you know, that's what you know. What's best for a motherfucker? But I'm just saying, you know, just so you got some motherfucker that don't support it at all. So, even with the diss shit, like. You could compare it to like when rappers make music. Rappers know when they make this is what happened versus when they just make, you know, other shit. Unless it's a hit and it take off. But you know the difference when you make a diss song yeah. and you make a regular song. Yeah. So it's like, if you see when I do this, this happen. It's kind of like the fan base kind of push people to do fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. So this song rappers, they don't really even want to say the shit they saying, but they know I ain't making no money doing this shit. Yeah, so I got a tweet. That's just like fucking out with the shit with the Migos and Cardi and all that. You feel me? Or any other thing, you know? That shit was everywhere. Every, every, every blog, every site, nigga. TMZ, that shit made everywhere. And that's well, kind of with the Migos. Uh, yeah. He tripping with Cardi. Da, 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 da. That shit was on every blog, bro. Because you feel me? That's what they want to hear, bro. Okay, the controversy, bro. They want to hear that, bro. That's just like basketball and shit, bro. It's like, nigga. They want to see me, you feel me? That's what get a, get a motherfucker amped up, bro. Going against each other, that's what it is, you yeah. feel me? Now it's just regular, it's just regular. They don't, you know. 